Well, welcome back to Sunday Live here on Sky News. Joining me now is a man not known for sitting on the fence. He passionately opposed the invasion of Iraq, and now he feels that Hezbollah is justified in attacking Israel. The Respect MP for Bethnal Green is in our central London studio. A very good evening, a good morning rather to you, Mr Galloway. Uh, how do you justify your support for Hezbollah and its leader, <laughs> Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah? What a preposterous way to introduce an item, and what a preposterous first question. 24 years ago, on the day my daughter was born, and I've just celebrated her 24th birthday, I had to dash to the maternity hospital to see her given birth from a mass demonstration in London against the Israeli invasion and occupation of Lebanon. Israel has been invading and occupying Lebanon all of my 24-year-old daughter's life. The Hezbollah are a part of the Lebanese national resistance who are trying to drive, having successfully driven most Israelis from their land in 2000, Israel from the rest of their land, and to get back those thousands of Lebanese prisoners who were kidnapped by Israel under the terms of their illegal occupation of Lebanon. It's Israel that's invading Lebanon. It's Israel that's attacking Lebanon, not Lebanon that's attacking Israel. You've just been carrying a report of 10 Israeli soldiers on the border getting ready to invade Lebanon and you ask us to mourn that operation as if it were some kind of war crime. Israel is invading Lebanon and has killed 30 times you, more you Lebanese put your civilians on the button, though, didn't you? than have died in Israel. So it's you who should be justifying the evident bias which is written on every line on your face and is in every nuance of your voice and is loaded in every question that you ask. Right. The, uh, you put your finger on the button, though, didn't you, when you said that Hezbollah was set up back in the 1980s in order to remove every Israeli soldier from Lebanese soil. As you said, it achieved that in 2000. No, it didn't. This is a setback. No, it didn't. It, it didn't. This is a key point that you're, you're concealing from your viewers. Israel was forced out of most of the south of Lebanon in 2000. It still occupies a part of Lebanon since 2000. The Sheba Farms area, which is subject to Lebanese, this latest UN draft resolution. Thousands of Lebanese prisoners have been kidnapped by Israel. Hezbollah I spoke and the just a moment Lebanese ago government to the Israeli to Foreign Ministry spokesman who said that the three Lebanese who uh, have been uh, captured, perhaps no, you'd no. like to use that word, have been Anna, before a not judge those. These are and not been the through a court of law. Oh, please, have a slightly longer memory than four weeks. I'm talking about the thousands of prisoners taken during the 18 years of Israeli occupation, illegal occupation of South Lebanon. These are the prisoners that have to be released in exchange for the Israeli soldiers that were captured at the beginning of this wave of the crisis. Can I ask you about a report that's in uh, today's Sunday Telegraph, which showed that Iran has given Hezbollah long-range uh, missiles capable of targeting any part of Israel. Uh, Iran, according to this uh, Iranian MP who helped found Hezbollah, uh, has also said that he's, Iran has given the organization, organization, author, authorization rather, to target Tel Aviv. Can you blame Israel for wanting to destroy those missiles? But this is preposterous. America has given Israel uh, missiles that can target not just every city in Lebanon, but every city in the Arab and Muslim world, including Iran. Why should America be allowed to give long-range missiles to Israel, including hundreds of nuclear missiles, but Iran because is not allowed to give Because it's given it to a terrorist organization. But, but they're not a terrorist organization. Only in the mind of Rupert Murdoch's sky and the Times and the oh, Sun and on. the news of the world. I'm going to stop not you a there, Mr. Galloway. Prescribed it's terrorist organizations. Terrorist One man's terrorist state. is yes, another precisely. man's freedom fighter. We know that perfectly well. In most people's eyes, they are deemed to be... No, uh, they, they had a choice, didn't they? they? Let's, let's, let's understand this. They no. had a choice, like the IRA, no, no, no. to take on politics. Listen, Anna. I'm in, saying they had a your, choice you're right, you're to right. absorb one, the idea of politics. They've got going two Hezbollah other? cabinet ministers. Anna, you one man's on. terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. You are totally wrong in saying that in most people's eyes, Hezbollah are terrorists. In most people's eyes, Israel is a terrorist state. It's the fact that you cannot comprehend that fact that leads to the bias which runs through all of your reporting and every question that you've asked me in this interview.